It was pretty bad. Mom said I couldn't hear hardly anything, so when they brought me in and they told me I needed hearing aids, it made a huge difference at home for my parents. When I first got hearing aids, my parents, I was only five, so my parents said I was doing better in preschool and out throughout the years, obviously, I was just a kid. I didn't want to wear them. I was made fun of them for them, but when I got to where I was going into mm -hmm. middle school and intermediate and high school, I really started to love them because I could hear my teachers. I didn't have to raise my hand and say, what was that? Every five minutes. Um, I, know, I remember one time I was walking through the house and something was beeping. I had never heard the beep before. I just got new hearing aids, upgraded, and I kept looking around and I asked my mom, I was like, what the heck is that noise? And she goes, you can hear that? You've never been able to hear that? I was like, mom, what is it? And she goes, it's the microwave saying somebody's food is done. And then I learned our, our washer beep when it was done. And I could hear a lot more when I got my hearing aids and I, I really learned to love them. I think my favorite part is when I got pregnant um, and they used the fetal Doppler at the, the ultrasound place. I, I could hear that loud and clear and it was the most heartfelt moment to be able to hear that and not have to worry about not being able to hear it. it it's like a highlight of the mom moment. <laughs> um, I also like the fact that I could stay in touch with my grandparents and they, I'm not saying what? Can you say that again? Like I can hear better. I don't I don't annoy people now. <laughs> my grandpa actually had hearing aids through an amount of audiology and he's the one that recommended my parents bring me in to get my hearing aids and test done. Um, I noticed that with my grandpa, every time we did an upgrade, it was like he could hear so much better and we weren't yelling at him, we weren't angry with him because when you can't get somebody to understand you or hear you, it's, it's really frustrating. And I didn't realize that until I had gotten older, but um, Grandpa used to say, where are your hearing aids? And I'm like, I know where yours. And we'd go put them in together. We lived just down the street from each other. And it made a world of a difference, but we were always there for each other. We always made sure that each other had their hearing aids and batteries, and we shared batteries all the time. <laughs> Adopted Grandpa on Cheetah Mountain, and he kept saying, what, huh, can you repeat that? And I finally looked at him and I was like, Give me five seconds. I ran into my room and I cleaned my hearing aids really good, changed the filters, changed the tips, and I took them over and I put them in his ears. And he, I was like, how's that? He's like, I can hear you. So he actually ended up coming in to do a hearing test and I ended up getting hearing aids, but he said his life is so much better. And we actually did the same thing with his wife. And then I have another adopted grandpa down the street that lives here, and he's thinking about coming in and getting some. I think it'll be great for him.